Welcome, welcome everybody. We have two cheap smartphones here on the table, which my brother has been using actually one of for the last few weeks. And he wanted to try if maybe the Paris um, X is as good as the Paris. So the Paris X is a little bit slower than the Paris by Ulephone. These are both devices that cost uh, from China about 120 to 140 bucks. So we have the Paris for um, 110 in um, Hong Kong. And then we have 420 for just 10 bucks more than regular Paris, uh, which is a little bit faster in terms of processing power. Some websites stated also that the cameras are different, but actually on my two um, devices, which I will show you now in a second, both have the exact same camera on the front and the back, the exact same hardware, um, except for the processor uh, both integrated so that's quite interesting and I think that's uh, something that we have to talk about in a second. First of all we have obviously some flowers here so you can take some pictures and we will take a look at how both devices look like because both are exactly similar from the outside and as I said also from the inside basically except for the processor. So if you buy the phone, you will get all kinds of things inside your package, like there will be actual display protection and foil already uh, already on the device. You can take that off if you don't like it, but usually people just leave it on. And uh, one of the reasons is that it's already on there, so you don't have to worry about putting that on for yourself and getting some bubbles. If after a year or two you think there's too many scratches, you just get an extra one, and so that's quite nice. And what you also get is actually um, a little bit thicker glass case also, not case Case, but display protection glass which I love I love these glass thing is that protects your display even more and is less um scratch here and then you also get a little case with a little window and um, that you usually have to buy from other companies for 10 15 20 even 30 bucks so all of that is inside the package and obviously you have your charger um, in your headset and micro usb cable um, also for data transfer and charging capabilities inside the box for just 120 bucks for the paris and 130 bucks for the paris um, no, for the Paris X, 120, and for the Paris regularly without the X, 130. It's still kind of strange to me that the X version is a little bit worse than the non-X version, so the shorter name is better. But anyhow, let's take a look at how the device looks like, or both devices look like. So we have beautiful design. You can, um, of course, select from both different colors. I just happen to have both in different colors. So we have the on and off switch, volume rocker on the bottom, the um, speaker and microphone. And on the top, you will find the headset jack, micro USB, um, and a beautifully slim design with the camera sticking out a little bit in the back. The 30 megapixel camera on both devices with a single uh, flashlight for maybe even low light um, uh, pictures on the front. You won't have a flashlight, but you have on both 8 megapixels as a front camera. Yes, on both 8 megapixels, you heard me right, I will show you in a second how that can be. A full metal body here on the outside, so you have a nice touch to it if you have it in your hands. And on the front, you have the 2.5D display like you have on the iPhone 6 and 6S. So it's a little bit round, which feels quite nice, a little bit like you would have a um, soap in your hand. And on the back, you have a removable back cover with removable movable battery um, also built in. So let me take off the battery on one of the devices since both look exactly the same from the inside. You have here the 2250 milliamp battery with a dual micro SIM, um, also 4G capable device, micro SD card. We have um, obviously Bluetooth 4.0 built in, even an FM radio and GPS, GLONASS, everything that you need. But the only thing you don't have actually right now is sadly um, NFC, which for example, even the Apple iPhone has nowadays, but only for payment options. So let me close this up completely, like this, and then we can go back here and try out both phones which run beautifully Android 5.1 right now. Um, 6.0 is supposedly coming out here in April. It's April right now, but on both we won't, what well, we didn't get the update yet. So let me start actually Android 2 just to show you the differences in terms of um, what both got in terms of ranking. And now you can see the big difference between the 10 bucks that you will um, spare if you buy the, uh, buy the Paris X, not the Paris. Um, so you have. 50% um, less or actually 50% more on the right side than on the left side in the benchmark. So the Paris is better for gaming than the Paris X. That comes um, or 
that happens to be because actually both have different processors inside, as I said already. By MediaTek, we have the 6735 and here the 6753. So the big difference is here we have only four cores. On the right side, we have eight cores built in and otherwise both have the same hardware, like for example, five megapixels, uh, five inch display with an HD resolution and 64 bit processor inside and also on the back, the 30 megapixel camera. Now for the people that that skepticize me if there's really just or really 8 megapixel on both on the front. So you can see here again cores 4 and 8. If you go a little bit further down, you can see both have the 8.3 megapixel camera on the front and I shot with both a selfie picture, which I will um, obviously repeat in a second for you guys to show that really um, that was um, something that happened here with both devices. So enough about the hardware. Let's try out the software. The only thing I will show you today is the camera. That's I think enough. So if you open up both on both the camera, you can see here the result of my front facing camera selfie. I took both um, right after each other and you can see that both have the exact same um, medium quality I would say so on both you can see a few details on my beard um, on my um, collar you can see also my Jabra Bluetooth headset a little bit but you can't really read that it's Jabra so I think both have the exact same quality in terms of color obviously you can't perfectly do the same picture over and over again and then here we have um, the same picture with the 30 megapixel camera in the back so we can zoom in on some details like for example here the flower in the back um, and you can see that both look beautiful um, and a little bit sharper actually even on the Paris X than on the Paris but I think just because the focus um, here was on this flower in the front and uh, which is a little bit less sharp uh, or actually even that's also sharper here on the Paris X but maybe just have to take the same picture again so let's just here slide to the um, left and try out that camera in the back so you can see if i move them both around and both have the nice here quality which you can try to focus i will turn off the auto um, flash and we could try to shoot the same picture here with both devices where both would probably look the same you can see um, how nicely both perform also full hd videos are possible with um, both paris both Paris devices and we, if we switch to the front camera you can see on the right side and on the left side the quality is about the same. On the right um, the phone seems a little bit slower but I think that's only because face detection is on which I probably can turn off and should turn off and then the speed would be exactly the same. So you can see I'm recording actually everything everything with the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge which not doesn't even have 8 megapixel on the front but only 5 megapixel since that's actually also enough uh, for most people but otherwise if you just check out the speed if it's 4 cores or 8 cores there's not much difference in just a regular everyday um, stories like for example just browsing around or for example if I open up the browser um, on both you will see that both start in about the same time or I can just close all apps with um, both devices here and start the same little test over. So let's just open up the browser in both devices. And you can see a little bit faster with the eight cores than with the four cores, but it's not much of a difference. So if you were to do it every day or just have one phone in your hand, it will still quite fast, especially if you think about it, they both cost only just about a hundred bucks, which is really not that much money. 120 to 140 bucks, the Paris X and the Paris regular um, phone here. Thanks so for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. This was just a really short overview what the differences are. And as I said before, not much, especially for gaming. Both have the same GPU, the Mali T720 inside. So if you want to game, there's not much of a difference. But if you just want a little bit of a faster processor, get the Paris. Um, but otherwise, thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe again. Until next time, peace and in again.